Hello, 00 Not Yet Spies. I'm Izzy. <laughs> Kaden, mouthpiece. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Kaden. Where have you been? I just came back from the bottom of the pool to get our message from HQ. What's the assignment? There you go. Thanks. We have to swirdle pull up a lot of the dog. Let me see it. It doesn't say that. It says swirdle to pull up a dog. Another one? It says we need to find a better way to transport messages across water. All right. I'll create something so the message can stay dry. And I'll make something so we can confirm it arrived safely. First, I'll make a small boat to transport our message so it's bone dry when it arrives. For this, you'll need two sheets of styrofoam, a small handheld fan, a crafting knife, a sheet of white cardstock, three popsicle sticks, one marble, one toothpick, electrical tape, hot glue, a pen, a cutting board, and a ruler. Draw the shape of a boat on a piece of paper. You can use a ruler to keep the line straight. Draw a smaller boat shape inside the larger one. Make sure to leave space on the straight side. Take your fan and place it on the bottom of your boat drawing. Trace a little box around it, like this. Now that you have your drawing, cut it out. Trace the outline of your drawing on your first sheet of styrofoam. Then trace the whole drawing on the other sheet of styrofoam. Cut out both pieces of styrofoam using your crafting knife. Glue the two pieces of styrofoam together so they line up. This will be your boat. Trim it if it doesn't line up perfectly. Set it aside. Now make the rudder. Take your three popsicle sticks and hot glue them together side by side. Wrap your sticks in electrical tape. This will make sure they don't get soggy in the water. Grab your boat and turn it where the flat side faces up. Line up your rudder so it's straight down the middle and flush with the back of the boat. Make sure it's straight. If not, your boat will turn to the side. Trace the position of the rudder with a pen on the styrofoam. Scratch along the line that you just traced with a toothpick. This will be where you put your rudder. Now, glue your rudder into the trench you made. Put your boat rudder side down. Dig a hole for your marble in the front middle of the boat. Put your marble in the hole. This will help weigh down your boat. Finally, place your handheld fan into the back rectangle. Turn the fan on. Put it in water, and you have a message boat. Now we've got a way to pass the message, but I'll make binoculars so we can see that it arrives safely. For this, you'll need two toilet paper rolls, two small magnifying glasses, black cardstock, four popsicle sticks, electrical tape, scissors, a pencil, and a hot glue gun. Use a toilet paper roll to trace two circles on your black cardstock. Cut them out. Fold one of the circles in half. Cut a diamond shape in the middle like this. Repeat for the other circle. Tape a circle to one of the ends of your toilet paper rolls. Do this for your other toilet paper roll. Snap the sticks off of two magnifying glasses. Tape your magnifying glass to the other end of your toilet paper roll. Trim the edges of the tape. And do the same for your other toilet paper roll. Cover the rest of your tubes in tape. Hot glue these two nubs together. Put the eye holes up to your face. Use your eye holes to measure how far apart your tube should be. Put them down exactly like that on your table. Glue three popsicle sticks across the tubes to hold them together. Glue the fourth one down the middle.
clean up any glue strings that are hanging off. And that's it. Now you have working binoculars. Ready for the test run? Whoa. We did it! We transported a message across water! Yup, and it says, hey, it's Izzy. Swear blah 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 dang. <laughs> yep, it does. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to DreamWorks TV. And click here for more DI Spy videos. Comment down below and let us know what you think swear to lop a lop a dang means. It probably means Caden's cool, but what do you guys think? Mm -hmm.